In our previous video, we showed how to develop a trading system for SPY, which is the ETF that tracks the S&P 500 using Armagarch. In these ex next coming videos, we're going to show how to predict the futures markets using our, our basic Armagarch package. In order to predict futures, you're going to use ratio adjusted contracts. Normally, in futures, you have split adjusted contracts, which simply subtract out the gaps between the contracts and propagate them back. This destroys the relative prices. For example, in things like crude oil, you could end up with negative prices like this. Ratio adjusted contracts take the ratio of the current contract and the previous contract and uses that to adjust and propagate back um, a new price series. This means that the, that the percent change prices are not destroyed. So they can be used for these kind of calculations. The problem is everything in futures is based on points. And that information is destroyed by using ratio adjusted. So we will trade our ratio, we will trade our futures using this back adjusted contracts and trade station, but use the ratio adjusted contracts to create an Armagarch model that is going to be our predictive indicator. So let's go to trade station and see what we did here. Well, let's start with orange juice. All right, so we're going to take our 150 length for our window size for orange juice, which happened to be our best prediction. And we're going to use a very simple model. This model is pretty much identical to our previous model, except we're not going to only buy when the close is less than the open and sell when the close is greater than the open. Because in the futures markets, that counter trend nature really doesn't exist. It exists in, in the S&P, uh, exists in, in individual stocks to a point, but it doesn't exist in um, real futures markets. Okay, so that's all this mo simple model is. And let's look at our results. Again, we didn't use slippage and commission because we just wanted to see if these models were predictive at all. We make 82K long and short, 45K on the long side, 36K on the short side. That's about $100 a trade, 89 on the short side, 111 on the long side. About 50% accurate. $9,600 drawdown. It's up a little this year. It lost money in 2017, a little up a little in 12 months. Did really well there for a while. Equity curve, there it is. So it's not that it's a, an amazing model, but think about this. All I'm doing is using the direction of my predictions and I have a, a, a strong positive expectation. So think about using this Armagarch prediction as an indicator. Um, not only are, do we have the, the, the negative one and one predictions, but of course we have the raw predictions, which actually gives us a prediction for returns for, for the next period. So those predictions are extremely valuable. And if we take those predictions and we optimize to different levels, we probably can increase the average trade. But I just wanted to show you a very simple model that's saying that we're either positive, that we expect the market to go up, or negative. Now let's look at our second model here, which is our 500 for orange juice. Once again, the same system. The drawer, this doesn't do quite as well. It makes 71K, 33 long, 37 short. Average trade is smaller. Drawdown is higher. But it's done really well recently. So you could see that Armagarch models have a habit of doing really well. A certain set of models do really well in certain regimes and do badly in others. If we could figure a way 
of dealing with this, we could create some incredible models. And for example, using something like equity curve feedback. We're going to see in the next example where we predict have a system that trades the ES contract, how equity curve feedback combining multiple Armagarch models can actually increase your performance.